Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and today once again with just a smaller topic you could say a time pass video or whatever it is. So you've seen by the uh, title of the, uh, the video is what it's generation extension. So basically we talk about what how to do some extension. Uh, if the power demand increases so what would be an economical option for us. The load on a power station is highly variable this is because of what the diversity amongst the consumers so that the load demand can increase any time whenever you are uh, you know going for a power system installation you have to keep the load demand and the increase in the load demand in your mind for at least two decades right yes so for instance now you are installing a plant so it has one cost and then if you need uh, after 10 years you need some uh, some your your demand is increased so you need to install another unit so at that time the cost of installation would already have been increased or also have been increased as well as the fuel prices etc etc so what you do is you can install it from now so from now if you install an extra unit you would have an extra standby unit as well plus it would save you the the future extra cost that has been that you will be spending due to the increase of the price so you have to keep the load demand in your mind while uh, while 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 talking of a power generation or, or an installation the nature of load on the power system is highly variable this is because of the diversity among the consumers schedule to uh, inflation and fuel adjustment you have to keep generation must be planned to include the future load at least two decades ahead so because the cost of installation of generation of units is expected to increase over the span of time and therefore the installation during the present time would result in saving the result the additional units may act as standby or emergency plants right yes more often a power station should have provision for extending the generation to deliver power to meet the increase in load or due to the extension of load in the power system so you then when the load increases you have multiple options what are those multiple options in the case the extension of generation facility must be allowed in the case of private power plants the generation should be enhanced either by additional units or to purchase power from utility grid supply another option is to purchase supply from the HD system the high tension system for a large industry or housing or commercial scheme and form their own substation right the economic analysis must be carefully worked out for the available options and compared for providing electricity at the minimal possible cost so i'm coming to the example i was only interested in the example and what is the example so the example is the same that you your demand is increasing the electricity demand is increasing and you're given two options so you have to do your economic analysis and give and tell me which one uh, which uh, which electricity should i buy what option should i consider so then my cost of electricity is cheaper so example an independent power system of a housing scheme comprises a diesel power station with installed capacity of 5 megawatts so this is a diesel power station which has an installed capacity pc of 5 megawatts which provide generation with a tariff of rupees 2000 kilowatt rupees 2000 per kilowatt plus rupees 10 per kilowatt hour so this is the tariff and a supplying energy at an annual load factor of 55 percent annual load factor is 55 percent it is estimated by that by including a second phase of housing scheme the load demand is expected to increase the consumption of so new increase by how many units increase by 27.5 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours over the present requirement okay in order to fulfill the electricity demand of the consumer the following two options are available so they're telling you what that you have a diesel power station for now whose installed capacity is 5 megawatt load factor is given the the the, the tariff is given 
what do you have is that the you this is for a housing scheme you have introduced a second phase so in the, by introducing the second phase the energy demand would increase by this much over the present amount which means if you have for instance the present demand is e1 and the increased demand would be e2 so e2 would be e1 plus this amount right yes so the two options that are available is what so i will write them over here so option number a purchasing additional generating sets so you 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 go for the same diesel generating sets which are at rupees seven thousand per kilowatt is the cost for that no 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 2200 2200 per kilowatt 2200 per kilowatt is the cost for that and they are generator sets are available with 5 megawatt and 2 megawatt capacity the capacity is either a 5 megawatt or a 2 megawatt and you have a depreciation annually of a 10 percent fine yes and the second is the second option is that you purchase bulk supply from the utility grid so you supply you purchase it from utility grid with the two part tariff that is rupees 400 per kilowatt of maximum demand plus rupees 12 per energy unit consumed so you 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 perform the economic analysis and you tell me which option should i go for okay yes sir so let's let's consider option a first or let's say before considering option a this option a is basically for the for the new situation let me first discuss the current situation what is happening currently so currently the number of energy units i need to know so i would go for what i would go for the energy units that are e1 for instance so e1 is equal to load factor fld into maximum demand into time so let's say load factor is 0.55 maximum demand is installed capacity is 5000 and time is 8760 so which means the current units that i am consuming is how much it's 24 into 10 to the power 6 24.09 whatever it is so these are the units that i am assuming uh, that i am requiring currently fine yes so my current cost of electricity is what the fixed charges the fixed charges are what these are on the basis of the maximum demand so which means five thousand and and you have what the current tariff is two thousand five thousand into two thousand and also you have an annual depreciation with the generating units that is ten percent so it is with the new generating units as well as with the old ones so 0.1 so this comes out to be how much so this is 1 into 10 to the power 6 1 1 1 million 1 million right this is the fixed cost and similarly the running charges or the variable cost would be what that would be 24.09 into 10 to the power 6 multiplied by rupees 10 per kilowatt hour so this comes out to be 240.9 million 240 million is that right it is right so which means that the cost of electricity that i am using now is the fixed cost plus variable cost divided by total energy consumed put down the values put down the values what do you get is 10.04 per kilowatt hour 10.04 per kilowatt hour this is my present cost of electricity now what happens is that i have introduced a second phase so my units have increased so the new units the new units would be what the new units e2 would be e1 plus uh, this units with the increase unit this one 27.5 into 10 to the power 6 so this means what then now e2 is what i would do my my calculation on the basis of e2 which would be 51.59 51.59 into 10 to the power 6 units now on these units i would do my calculations right yes sir so let's say i consider option number a so option number a i have to uh, so first now for this energy units i need to have the maximum demand so the maximum demand would be what from that formula maximum demand would be uh, the energy units e divided by the load factor into into time so put the value is 51.59 into 10 to the power 6 divided by FLDs, let's say the same load factor. And then time is 8760. So the maximum demand in this case would be 10.7 megawatts. 
10.7 megawatts. So have a look, have a look. Now this is my power requirement, 10.7 megawatts. My available generating units are a 5 megawatt and 2 megawatt capacity. So which means have a look that I would have a 5 megawatt, which is the old one. This is let's say the old one. Then I would have a 5 megawatt new and a 2 megawatt new. So I have got a 7 megawatt of new generating units. Is that fine? It is. Unit 5 and 2 megawatt of the mix in demand and the installed capacity would 5 megawatt existing, 5 megawatt new to me. So the total installed capacity now PC new would be 12 megawatt which consists of the 5 old and the 7 new generating sets. Right? Yes. So which means the cost of new generating sets. Cost of new generating sets would be what it is uh, it is 2200 per kilowatt so 2200 and my kilowatts are how many and watts are 7000 kilowatts are 7000 and a 0 0.1 is the depreciation factor so the total cost comes out to be 1.54 into 10 to the power 6 1.54 into 10 to the power 6. Now I also have to calculate the cost of old generating units. So that is again 2200 per kilowatt and the kilowatts are 5000 in that case. So for that and again I will have the depreciation with this also. So 0 0.1 and this comes out to be how much? 1 into 10 to the power 6. So 1 into 10 to the power 6. So annual fixed cost. So the annual fixed cost is this plus this let's say this is one this is two so one plus two and this comes out to be 2.54 million 2.54 into 10 to the power six now with considering the fuel adjustment charges in future expansion of generation the cost per kilowatt is to be increased by 20 percent do we have the fuel charges given over here Oh yes, so the question I made incomplete. So in the question I was also given to determine the most economical option allowing the future cost of diesel fuel adjustment of 20%. So fuel adjustment was also given which was 20%. So fuel adjustment means what? This is the increase in the fuel prices, right? So that you have to increase over here. You have to include over here. So the variable cost would be what uh, the current cost is 10 so the current cost uh, where is it where is it wait 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 yes yes the current cost is 10 have a look the current cost is 10 we're talking about the diesel generating units so the fuel adjustment i will write over here so this is 10 plus 0 0.2 of 10 so this will become 12 so which means the the operating cost would be what the operating cost would be now 12 per kilowatt hour instead of this 10 why because we've got a fuel adjustment price as well so what do you do now the variable cost so the variable cost is uh, 12 multiplied by the number of energy units which would be 51.59 into 10 to the power 6 the variable cost comes out to be 619 million wow a very big amount so so which means the cost that i'm getting from here is fixed cost plus variable cost divided by the number of energy units consumed what does this come out to be 12.05 per kilowatt hour so this is for option number a similarly i do for option number b which is from the utility grid supply can you do it for yourself let me do it let me do it since the tariff provided by utility grid supply is 400 uh, of the maximum demand plus 12 kilowatt hour so the maximum demand is what the maximum demand now have a look the maximum demand you will be doing on the basis of uh, only the increase in units okay over here yes so the maximum demand that you, so why why is this i need the maximum demand again so the maximum demand is e divided by fld into time over here i am taking this e why is that 
why is that i am taking this increased e because because the first energy units e1 e1 those are the units that i am already supplying by the diesel units those i am already supplying by the diesel units now these extra units these extra units are only i have to take from the grid the original ones i am supplying with my diesel station in the first case i took the overall units e2 to find the maximum demand because because i had to supply all the load by my diesel station whereas over here the previous ones i am supplying with the diesel the new ones the new one the increased ones i would be supplying with the utility grid supply so that is why for the maximum demand i have taken only the increase of energy units so from here the maximum demand comes out to be 5.7 megawatts so the annual fixed cost would be what the fixed cost would be 5.7 into 10 to the power 3 of uh, and, and and multiplied by 400 per kilowatt so this comes out to be 2.28 million 2.28 into 10 to the power 6 similarly the variable cost of the running cost would be 27.5 into 10 to the power 6 energy units multiplied with rupees 12 per kilowatt hour is the rate so what do you have is 330 into 10 to the power 6 fine yes sir so the total cost of electricity would come out to be what uh, this plus this so 330 plus 2.28 into 10 to the power 6 divided by the energy units 27.5 into 10 to the power 6 comes out to be what 12.08 per kilowatt hour so I have it you have 12.05 for one, you have 12.08 for the next. You would say this is a very negligible difference, you know, just let it be, let it be, right? Whatever you want to go with, just go with it. Because you only have a 0 0.03 difference, or what is this? So this is a very small difference. But if you see, so how much saving is it? The annual saving resulting is what annual saving annual saving resulting is how much 12.08 minus 12.05 this saving is occurring in only one unit but if I'm talking for the overall unit so 27.5 into 10 to the power 6 gives you what 0 0.82 million 0 0.82 million rupees so 0 0.82 million rupees you are saving per year by only due to a very small differential amount all right so what would you consider which option would you consider that is cheaper of course this one is cheaper the the, the diesel sets are cheaper right yes so i will finish this video over here I have a number of examples, the book have a number of examples, I'll try to do it in the end. I'll try to do it in the end. In the next video, most probably I will see you with the hydroelectric power station. Till then, take care. Goodbye.